What's up fruitful investors? In this video, I'm gonna talk about how I easily made over $50,000 on the last flip we just finished and how we tend to do this all the time. So stay tuned. So number one, you wanna buy your flips at the right price. This is the most important rule as a flipper. You need to be buying real deals. Now, if you're like me and you're an investor and you're obsessed, you're probably looking at deals off the MLS. I get it. The reality is, if you're living in North America anyway, you're probably not gonna be buying a strict flip off the MLS. Rental properties, fantastic. So many deals off the MLS. With flips, you have to go direct to seller in most cases and get a motivated seller to sell at a discount because you can close quick with cash, take care of their problems, they can leave all their shit behind. Whatever the, the reason is, you need to buy lower and sell high, right? You've heard that term before. That is literally the most important part about flipping. So I'll give you my buying formula. It might not work depending on what market you're in. For example, I, I, I'm flipping in a high price market, right? So our deals, our houses that are like falling over, I'm paying 400 to 500 grand for that, right? So if you're living in Michigan or Ohio or Atlanta, Georgia, like I know some of those guys are buying flips for like 100 grand. Like we don't, forget it. That, that's not gonna happen in my city, right? So the metrics might not work for yours, but anyway, I'll give you my buying formula and we can tweak it for you as well. So what we do is we take the after repair value. So the value that it's gonna be when it's all done and pimped out fruitful style, that price times it by 80%. I'll get my media guy to throw this up on the screen here because it won't make sense for me just saying it. Times that number by 80% and then we subtract the renovation cost. So how, do, how does this work in real life? And I hope the numbers off the top of my head are right. My media guy will correct me. So if I know the house is gonna be worth 600,000, which is the average house in my area, when it's pimped out all nice, looks all fruitful style, 600 grand, I times that by 80%, that's 480,000. I know that number before even going to the house to meet the seller. I got my numbers all ready to go. So I know it's 480. Now I gotta subtract the renovations, right? So the average renovation for us is 80 grand to flip a single family house. So I subtract the 480 by 80, it leaves me with 400. My offer price is 400. So if I know the house is gonna be worth 600 grand all done, right, I gotta buy that house at 400 grand or around there. Now, if you're living in one of those lower priced areas, like, like I said, Michigan, Ohio, et cetera, you might have to do after repair value times 60% minus renovations equals purchase price. You might have to do that, play with the numbers, see if it work, makes sense for you. But that's not a tr like a tried and tested true number that works every time, it almost does. But that's just a number for us to know going into a meeting, I gotta be around here. If I can buy that house, like I said, for 400 grand, it's gonna work every single time. Like I know I'm not gonna lose money. If they say, oh, can we do it for 450? And, and I come back and say, maybe I can do 430. Now I gotta go to my spreadsheet and actually make sure it is gonna work at 430. But the 400, that will work almost every single time for that specific example. So knowing the right price is absolutely key. The most important reason or way on how we make 50K plus on flips, it's all about that purchase price. So number two, getting good at design and color themes. Thankfully for me, my wife is amazing at design and renovation plans, so that's fantastic. But you have to get really good at that and having a system in place um, to keep it boring and simple. So if you follow me, you know that my houses and my flips pretty much look all the exact same, right? We know our end clientele, we know our customer and we know what they want. So every house pretty much looks the same. Pretty much the same painting, same flooring, same baseboards, same countertops, same kitchen, same backsplash. Dude, it's so boring, but that's how we make the money, right? The contractors know exactly what to do. When we buy a house and they walk in, I don't even really have to tell them this is what we're gonna do. They already know, They're like, Matt, I, I know you're gonna do that countertop. I know you're gonna do that backsplash. The paint color is gonna be this. Yeah, 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 Matt, I know. That's how we want. We want a system like a, like a line, like a manufacturing line of flips. Just boom, boom, boom. It's just easy. Everybody knows what the hell is going on. We know what to order in advance. Super, super easy. So, so get really good at design and color themes. Number three, reason on how we make 50K on our flips and more is that we spend more money on the material. This is very, very, very important. And a lot of flippers just don't get this. Now, for example, the labor of installing a cheap tile on the backsplash is the same as installing a good quality tile, even a marble. It's the exact same price. It's the same process, pretty much. So. 
spend more money on the materials. That's how we do Carrera marble backsplash on the kitchens. Like people are like, what the fuck? Yeah, we're paying like 12 bucks a square foot, but we're only doing like 45 square feet for the average kitchen, so it's not really that much money. And the labor is the exact same. Now Joe Blow, the beginner investor, what's he gonna do? He's gonna do uh, white subway tile, cause it's way cheaper, dude. It's like a buck a square foot. Dude, I know, we only save like 500 bucks, maybe 800 bucks on the tile, on the spread between the, the marble and the cheap subway tile backsplash. I get it, it's like 800 bucks, but dude, now the people are gonna fall in love with my house and pay three grand more because of that damn Carrera Marble Backsplash. See how that works? Same with the flooring. Flooring is very, very important. People will just buy the cheap shit in the back of Home Depot warehouse, the, the, the discontinued shit for a, you know, 98 cents a square foot. You know, we're paying 217 a square foot, but it looks really damn good. And because it's quality, people will pay more again. Putting the click vinyl for the cheap shit or my shit is the same thing. The labor costs the exact same. Well, I'm only paying a little bit more on the material, which gets more money on the final purchase price and making that damn money on those flips. So very, very important, a very savvy investor tip, spend more on the materials. The labor is pretty much the same, whether you use cheap shit or good shit. Number four, stage always, you always want to stage your flips. I can't believe it when I see flippers and I know a lot of uh, very savvy flippers that don't stage their flips. Huge mistake. We stage all of our flips with these cool little things and these bananas and the whatever. It gets the money every single time. People, your regular home buyer has a hard time visualizing where's the dining room table gonna go, where are the kids gonna sit at the countertop at the breakfast bar, where are the kids gonna play in the living room, etc. We have all, the, all the, the pictures up and the mirrors and the furniture, dude, it looks sick. And the people come through and they can visualize and they feel like they're at home. That's the comment we get the most from realtors or the buyers. They said it felt like home. They needed to buy the house. My clients were actually sitting on the couch dreaming about Christmas or whatever. They had to buy your house. I get those comments all the time. Now, our houses look pretty cool when they're not staged. It looks pretty good, but when they're staged, next level. Now, hiring a stager is about 2,000 bucks on average from what I found and what we used to pay for our stager. That's a pretty good flipper deal. Two grand, very, very, very well worth it. Spend that two grand, I guarantee you will make five from it. So very, very important and it'll sell way faster. Now what we've done at this point is that we flipped so many houses and we, we kept paying this two grand, two grand, two grand, two grand every single time. I was like, dude, we're spending like 25K a year on staging, on, on, on hiring the stager. So what we did is that we bought a whole house full of uh, furniture, like a house and a half, so, so much stuff. We spent about, I think six or seven grand on all the furniture. Now we have it forever. And we flipped so many that they just, we just moved the staging from house to house pretty much. Instead of paying 25, 30 grand a year on a stager, we paid seven grand at one time. Now we got it all forever. Now you'll do that once you get to the higher level and you're actually like flipping and building a real business, but that's how we do it, man. And that's how we increase the profits on our flip because we're not paying that two grand anymore. Now we pay the price of, of a U-Haul, which is like a hundred bucks. And we pay one of our employees to help us move it in. So a hundred bucks, so 200 bucks a house. We're staging now. Very, very good. And that's how you get the 50 grand or more on the flips. Number five, take good videos and good marketing when selling your flips. So obviously take good pictures. Your realtor knows that and they'll probably hire somebody. What the realtor won't do, I guarantee, is do a sick video. Yo, Tyler, hit him with one of our videos.
All right, so that was a piece from our last listing video that we just sold where you made over 50K on. You gotta do those videos every single time you do a flip. It is an absolute must. I don't know how many times I see flippers, and like I said, even savvy flippers who don't stage their house, don't do a video, and take shitty pictures that they took with their iPhone. Like, dude, it is all about the marketing. You wanna sell your customer, your buyer, before they even get to the house. And so we do every single, every single time. With that video from what we've told, or what we've been told, is that the buyers were already sold before they even came to the house. And that happens all the time. When they see that video and it looks all slick and cool, they can picture the kid's room with the chalkboard and all that kind of stuff, it, like it's, it's over. They bought the house, it's done. They're only coming to the house as a formality and then they're gonna sign the offer. You wanna sell them before they even get to the house and make your flip stand out and crush all the other realtors listings. Absolutely crucial. Use these tips and you too will also make over 50K on your flips. That's what we do every single time. It works really well. We got the system down and we don't deviate. Anyway guys, I hope you learned something. If you did, smash that like button. Also hit that subscribe button right below so we can see more of each other. I'll see you in the next video.